Hey team, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name's Cole and I'm a furniture flipper based in New Zealand. I enjoy taking tied furniture and injecting it with a modern spin. If you've been here before, welcome back. You know the drill, let's jump straight into it. I won this telephone table, also known as a gossip bench, in an online auction. I paid a little bit more than I usually would for a piece like this but I found it to be a little bit unique. It's a bit different to what I usually do, so I thought why not give it a go. It does have quite a few scratches. It's covered in watermarks. It's generally just a bit tired. Structurally, it's okay. The tambour door on it is very sticky, but I think all in all, it shouldn't be too hard to bring it back to life. Although I will have to update the upholstery on it. As you can see, that's very tired. Not something I've done before, so likely to be a little bit of a challenge. After taking apart what I can and giving it a really good clean over, I use my scraper to remove as much of the varnish as possible. It actually comes off pretty easily, it's quite dry and flaky, and what I don't get off with the scraper, I get off with the sander.
As you can see, even with a good 60 grit sand, there are still a lot of stains left. So I'm going to use some oxalic acid to try and remove those stains. Basically, I do one part oxalic acid, four parts water, wipe it all down, and as it dries, hopefully the stains will disappear before my eyes. I've gone for a brown faux leather vibe. It was $10 from a local spotlight. You could obviously spend a bit more and be a bit more extravagant, but I don't think the seat's going to be sat on too much, so I think this will do the job just fine. Now, as I mentioned, I haven't reupholstered before, so I'm definitely not an expert in this. I've just taken some advice and a few tips from my mother-in-law, who is no doubt cringing watching this, and I've also watched a few YouTube videos to sort of see what tips I can take from it. But I understand this is probably not best practice what I'm doing, but this is just how I chose to tackle it. I definitely found the corners a little bit more difficult so I really recommend taking your time on this part. I actually normally work reasonably quickly but I did slow down here and really try and get it right the first time but you know even I'm cringing watching this it is very slow so I'll just do the first one in real time and speed it up for the rest.
the acid has dried out and as you can see there are still a few stains left but once I sand this whole unit down to about 250 grit all the stains disappear so it worked really well. As this project comes to an end I really want to thank you for watching I really really appreciate your time if you could please throw us a like a comment share or subscribe it's all free and it's all really really helpful in my YouTube journey if you have any tips please of course leave those in the comments they're always really helpful and I definitely take note of them and also a massive thank you to those of you who have supported my channel in other ways such as shouting me a coffee or using the links in my description to purchase the things that I use in the videos. All a massive help and I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Now let's see what this piece looked like before and after. Be sure to let me know what you think in the comments. Until next time, take it easy.
ready, just do 